Hello and welcome to the Cyberden, your weekly dose of tech and games, right here on Siren FM. I, Jake, will be chatting with professional voice actor Dave Fenoy, better known as Lee from the Walking Dead games. Thanks for coming, mate. Well, I'm happy to be here and thanks for inviting me, Jake. Now, David, please tell everyone listening what inspired you to be a voice actor. Well, I've been a performer all my life. Uh, when I was a child growing up in Cleveland, I was an a, uh, actor on stage at Caramu House, which is a very famous in Cleveland neighborhood uh, community theater. Uh, I was a theater major in high, well, high school. I was president of the theater society, a theater major in college, then switched over to music. Um, got married, uh, became a DJ since I wasn't going to grow up to be a rock and roll star after all. And that kind of brought me back to uh, voiceover as a DJ. You voiced a lot of commercials and uh, kind of discovered, well, wow, there's a whole career doing that and offers a lot more fun than just spinning hits for teeny boppers. Uh, I can uh, do promos, commercials, animation. Um, that sounds like something for me and I jumped in with both feet. You've provided voices for many games from Skylanders to Bayonetta 2. Now focusing specifically on The Walking Dead for now, how did you get the part of Lee and what got you interested in The Walking Dead series? Well, um, I'll answer the last question first. Uh, the Walking Dead is now an iconic property. Uh, the world owns it. Uh, Robert Kirkman put it together, but now it's part of world <laughs> art. So just being able to be a part of such an iconic world uh, is one of the reasons I'd want to be in the Walking Dead game. Uh, and there's, a, there's some people who are trying to get me uh, to be in the Walking Dead TV show. Uh, because there's a character, Ezekiel, that looks a, a lot like me. But as uh, as to how I got the part of uh, Lee Everett in the Walking Dead game, I did it the old-fashioned way. I auditioned. Um, apparently, they had actually hired somebody else and uh, done a whole episode of the game. You know, uh, each season is five episodes. And they decided he really wasn't working out. A fella at Telltale Games heard me on another game, uh, Law and Order, where I was playing a uh, politician that was a little bit corrupt, but it was a very natural read. It was a very natural game, uh, not put on voices, just really uh, closer to the voice I really have. And uh, he heard me and said, hey, let's give this guy a try. And I auditioned, uh, got the part, and the rest is history. What was, in your opinion the most memorable moment in The Walking Dead games. Well, you know what? There, there are two for me as a voice actor, and uh, every person that plays a game has to have their own. But my very first day of recording, uh, I, at that point, had been in 60 or 70 games. And uh, this was very, very different because it was true dialogue. It was true storytelling. Generally, uh, when you're doing a, a game character, once you've got that game character's voice, it's a series of lines. These are your greeting lines. These are your attacking lines. These are your taunting lines. These are your I need help lines uh, that could be said to anyone. Um, they're situational as opposed to conversational. What struck me, first of all, was this was real dialogue. Uh, I was talking, my character was talking to different people uh, and talking to, not, uh, you know, shouting at or that kind of thing. And the second thing was uh, the final scene, um, Lee's goodbye to Clem, because uh, it had taken a number of months to do all five episodes. Uh, it took us about eight or nine months. Uh, we would record about every six weeks for uh, a couple of days and then pickups a few days later. So I'd had a chance to live with this character for almost a year. And uh, saying goodbye to Clem in the final scene, I knew I was supposed to feel bad and maybe have some tears, but actual tears came. I was a blubbering mess. Uh, but being the pro that I am, uh, I went with it. I, I just 
So what, what you hear in the game was me actually crying, not acting like I was crying. Aside from Lee, what are some of your favorite characters that you have provided voices for and why? What is that that you love about voice acting for video games? Well, not all of them are uh, in video games. Uh, one of them, uh, General Pong Krell from uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, a cartoon series. Uh, I loved playing him, as a four-armed Jedi that turns out to be a bad guy, because bad guys are so much fun to play. Uh, kind of an iconic character. Also, Vol'jin in Worlds of Warcraft. Love playing that character, who became uh, leader of the Horde. Uh, Bayonetta, I play Rodin. Love that character. There, there, there have been quite a few. <laughs> so uh, those, those are three that, that come to mind uh, right away. David, thank you so much for coming to this interview on Siren FM. Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. I am very honored that uh, people still want to talk to me. <laughs> By the way, David, is there anything else you'd like to say to all your wonderful fans out there? I just want to say uh, thanks to everybody who's listening, and uh, please like my Facebook page, Dave Fenoy, voice actor. Friend me on Facebook and follow me at Dave Fenoy. Thank you very much, David. And I would like to thank my dear listeners out there for tuning in to this great interview on the Cyberden, your weekly dose of tech and games. See you later, David, and watch out for the walkers. <laughs> I'll uh, keep my eyes open.